everyone we are going to start lines and angles chapter from adi sharma yes we are going to start from exercise 8.1 and first question which says that write the complement of each of the following angles so yes first part 20 degree but first we need to know what are actually complementary angles so two angles whose sum is 90 degree are called complementary angles so we need to find the complement of 20 degree so that the ang uh, the this sum is 90 degree so we can suppose that the angle is x so let angle be x so x plus 20 degree will be equal to 90 degree right so x will be equal to 70 degree there is another method which is very simple you can just minus 90 uh, minus 20 from 90 which will also give 70 degree so second part 35 degree same let the angle be x and x plus 35 will be equal to 90 right so x comes 55 degree isn't it simple Yes it is very simple now let's move to another question okay so let's move to question second which states that write the supplement of each of the following angles so first we need to know what are supplementary angles so two angles whose sum is 180 degree are called supplementary angles so since we have to find the supplement of first part for 54 degree so similarly let the angle be x right so x plus 54 will be equal to 180 degree so x will be equal to 126 degree now similarly we can solve this part and this part um yeah i'm not writing the whole statement i'm just giving you x so 180 minus 132 will be 48 similarly here so x will be 180 minus 138 which will be equal to 42 degree i think it must be clear to you now next third question if an angle is 28 degree less than its complement find its measure so we have to find the measure of the angle first of all first step which we have to do is to suppose the angle let the angle be x now let's proceed further since we have to find the measure of the angle x so x yes we can equate this now let's study the question so an angle is 28 degree less than its complement so first of all its complement would be 90 minus x right am i saying right yes i am saying right 90 minus x now it is 28 it is 28 less than its com uh, complement so it will be minus 28 right now we uh, we have the equation for finding the value of the x now let's solve it further x will be equal to 90 minus x minus 28 so x will be equal to 62 minus x so from here x will go so it will be 2x is equal to 62 and x will be equal to 31 degree this is the required answer similarly let's solve question number 4 it says that if an angle is 30 degree more than one half of its complement find the measure of the angle so we know first step is to suppose the angle so let the angle be x now we can equate it x will be equal to something like this so one half of its complement so here it says the angle itself so its complement we know it will be 90 minus x and we are given that it is half right and 30 more so we will add 30 to it and now simply we can solve it so i am solving like this 40 minus x by 2 plus 30 so from here it will be 3x by 2 is equal to 
now from here x will be equal to 50 degree this is the required answer for our question number 4 now let's move to question 5 which says that two supplementary angles are in the ratio 4 ratio 5 so we have to find the angles so first of all let the angles be 4x and 5x we know that supplementary angles have some 180 degree similarly 4x plus 5x will also have the sum 180 degree so it will be 9x is equal to 180 degree x will be equal to 20 degree now this is the value of x but we have to find the values of 4x and 5x so 4x will be 4 into x which is 20 so it will be 80 degree and 5x so 5 into x which is 20 again so it is 100 so the required supplementary angles are 80 and 100